if I could get into the studio. Ah, hamburgers! My favorite breakfast, brunch, dinner, and after theater snack. Goody! I made it! Now I'm gonna find my hero, Popeye! Okay, boys, that's all for today. Hi, kid. Looking for me? Sure. All the kids want my autograph. You little fellas know a big star when you see one. Oh! I don't want your old autograph. I want my heroes, Mr. Popeyes. Oh, boy, there he is now. Oh, Mr. Popeye, Mr. Popeye, w w would you please sign my autograph book? Why, sure, partner. Oh, Mr. Popeye, you're the greatest. Now, wait a minute, youngster. They write those movies to make Popeye look like the hero. In real life, I always top him. Oh, yeah? Well, show me. That's what I like, a man that needs convincing. You see that coin, Sonny? Well, watch this for fancy shooting. <laughs> Top that, you runt. Well, if it's a shooting match you want, here goes. <laughs> wow, that's terrific. Would you please sign What's my... What's the hurry, kid? You ain't seen my fancy roping yet. <laughs> there you are, sonny. A pet for you. Now I'll sign that book. Now wait a minute. If it's trick roping you want, here's something I learned in India. Boy, that's the best yet. You just can't play fair with that runt. He always makes me look bad. Now, what would they think up for me to do in the movies to mess him up? Why, of course. An idea right from a scenario. Hey! Now to give him the clincher. Mr. Brutus, I guess you are the best. Hm. Here, you can sign my autograph book. Yeah, I think I'll sign it, Brutus the Fearless.
after midnight in Finn and Hattie's herring cannery. My feet are killing me. I wish Popeye would show up. Just in time. Thanks for relieving me, old pal. Watch out for the herring snatcher. He's real sneaky. Don't worry. Uh, 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 uh. Nobody puts nothing over on Popeye. Ooh, what a soft racket Wimpy's got. Nothing to do but nothing all night long. Okay, I hear you. Comes out of there. <laughs> I got a better idea. Why don't you try to find me? I know that voice. You're the herring snatcher. You're getting warm. What we needs is a little light on the subject. I can hear you all right, but I can see you better. Okay, herring snatcher, put up your dupes. Well, look who's here. Blow me down. I ain't had so much fun since me football days at dear old rugby. Being a thinking man, I like to give it up front where it counts. I'll be seeing you at the supermarket. <laughs> Meanwhile, Brutus, the untouchable herring snatcher, catches up on his sneaky business at hand. I got my loot and I'm ready to scoot. But I can't leave without a parting shoot. <laughs> <laughs> that wins me one cigar. And another cigar. And another cigar. <laughs> that wins me a whole box of cigars. Wimpy told me my boyfriend Popeye is working here tonight. I'll surprise him with a little midnight snack. Popeye! Oh, Popeye! Anybody here? Here I am, olive oil. Anybody home? Just us fish. I'm over here. Get me out of here. The key's underneath. Oh! Oh, I found it! The spinach sandwich will pep you up, Popeye. I am just Popeye the Sailor Man. <laughs>
up by the sailor speaking. Uh, to who am I talking to who, please? This is Clarence Barrow, the lawyer. You and Brutus are mentioned in old Barnacle Bilge's will. Oh, yeah? Well, what does we have to do? I am reading the will at 12 o'clock today. Whomsoever is not present will be cut off without a cent. So, friend, be sure both of you are at 666 Maple Street. We'll be there. Or should I say, we'll be there. <laughs> Remember, friend, whoever doesn't show up will be left out of the will. Okay, Mr. Marrow. I will call Brutus right now and tell him. He's me upstairs neighbors, you know. And that's the story, Brutus. We gotta be there by noon if we want to share the fortune. Mm, so we're sharing the fortune, huh? Well, I want all of it. Uh, you go ahead, Popeye. I'll be there. I uh, have to do something first. Yeah. Oh, boy, a fortune. I wonder how much that is in cash money. If that little runt can't make it by noon, then the whole works will be mine. How does you like that? I forgot me good luck charm. There's more than one way to sink a sailor. Okay, now. Easy does it. A flat tire. Lucky it's only flat on the bottom. But I ain't got no time to fix no flats. I will just get me a taxi crab. Ahoy there, taxi! What went wrong? Just like I thought, a real good job. Walk this way, please. Well, it ain't gonna be easy. Does I still have to walk this way? Maybe it doesn't understand. I am here on business. What's the matter with you? Can't you read? Hmm, closed for business. I gotta get in there by noon, or else I loses out on me fortune. And it's almost noon. I wonder where Brutus is. <laughs> oh, I think I knows. Open up this door, Brutus. I know you're in there. Come on. I gotta be inside by noon. Oh, now you're being reasonable. <laughs> wow. I think the butler did it. You might as well read my fortune. <laughs> Popeye won't be here. <laughs> Now I knows what they means when they says, time flies. And so to these two sailors, I leave my entire fortune. This would have been my fortune. Consisting of my favorite things. To wit, one can of spinach. One can of spinach? You mean you dragged me out here for this? Furthermore, you call this a fortune? <laughs> You will make no changes there in connection with said can of spinach without first obtaining consent of such changes. I should not have done that. the provisions of Article 7 of said will of Barnacle Bilge, it is agreed that the said can of spinach and or if I... It's from business, huh? Wrong number, huh? I think I've got the wrong number. One more shot for good luck. And also $10,000 cash. Well, old Barnacle Bills was really here. Uh, where's Brutus? I thought he was here. He flew out of here in a hurry. <laughs> well, then the entire fortune goes to Popeye, as stipulated in the will. I certainly thanks you, Mr. Lawyer, but I already had me good fortune. As for the cash money, I will give that all to the poor little orphans and notifies them that Brutus gives them his half, too. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. 
I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. I'm strong to the finish, cause I eat me spinach. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. <laughs> Sure, we're not get caught. Ah, <laughs> don't be silly. These are the best three dollar bills on the market. Got to hand it to you, Hag. You got brems. Sure, that's why I picked this hideout. We can print all the money we want here without anyone interfering. This don't looks like no Palm Springs to me, Olive. Are you sure we're going in the right direction? Oh! I decided a beach resort would be more fun. <laughs> and look, ooh, there's a perfect place to stay. Ooh, it looks sort of like a last resort to me. Oh, look, Tor, unwelcome visitors. Ah, it's Popeye, and they mustn't find out. Oh, we've got to get rid of them. Come on, boys, let's go in and register. Why, how very interesting. Looks like a kind of place where you'd get spooked before you were spoken to. Oh, a oh, wimpy. <laughs> you startled me. Is it still raining cats and dogs? At the moment, it seems to be raining $3 bills. That's ridiculous. There ain't no such thing. Come on, boys, we're signed in. Let's find some rooms, hmm? Those meddlesome fools, they wouldn't take the hint. Uh, <laughs> now they must take the consequences. Shh. Why'd you have to bring so much stuff, Olive? We could have got by with a trunk half this size. That's pretty good service, if you ask me. Uh, I think I shall look for the kitchen. Quick, after him. I do believe I have all the ingredients for a salami burger. Now, if I can find a sharp implement... Ah, thank you, my good man. Those fools, they must have charmed lives. This time, there must be no slip-ups. Your nose, Olive, something strange about this place. Hmm? Well, what's that? Well, outside of you and me and Wimpy, thank you, there ain't nobody else here. <laughs> <gasps> Silly, that's because this is an exclusive resort. I wonder if it's too exclusive to have a dining room, huh? Oh, I'm so hungry I could eat the hersk. <laughs> Wait up, I'll go with you. <laughs> you fool, I should have known if I want something done right, I've got to do it myself. Oh, I'll get rid of them in me own way. Come and get it. <laughs> About time we were getting some service around here. I am starving. I hope we get it right away. You said it, Popeye. Hey, what the... Ow! See, Hag, I might have known you was behind that funny money. You won't think it's funny for long. We are ready to blow this hideout, and you with it. <laughs> Happy landing. Popeye, do something. I can't, Olive. The weakest link in these chains is me. But if that bomb goes off, it'll make hamburger of us. Speaking of hamburgers, where's Wimpy? Uh, did you call, sir? Where are you been? Preparing a small snack before dinner. 
I have bagel burger, spumoni burger, burger burgers, spinach burger, Ingrid burger. Spinach burger? Quick, let me have it. A wise choice. They're enchanting. Mm. Finish burger, Wimpke. At home a vacation spinach is me salvation, says Popeye the sailor man. Mm -hmm. 